Winter birding doesn't have to be cold or hard. Let's take a bird's eye view of Scudic Point. Some of the best winter birding in Maine is found at Scudic Point. The point itself is at the southern tip of Scudic Peninsula, and a six-mile auto loop hugs the coastline, giving great views into a dramatic seascape where wintering birds congregate. Although the auto loop provides good birding along its entire length, there are some particularly good spots to explore, starting with Fraser Point. Fraser Point is a picnic area facing Mount Desert Narrows, with Mosquito Harbor sitting right behind it, surrounding half the point with water. Common loons and eiders and black guillemots are present year-round. Buffleheads and long-tailed ducks move in in the winter, and it's a good place to start looking for the horned and redneck grebes that spend the cold months all around the Scudic Peninsula. There are many places to pull off the road on the way south to Scudic Point. One of the best pull-offs lies seven-tenths of a mile beyond Fraser Point, in a spot that overlooks the Mark Island Light across the channel. Common eiders and loons are often present. Black scoters are frequent. Black guillemots are regular. And an occasional razorbill is no surprise. Over the years, this has also been a great area to watch for purple sandpipers, which are seen most easily at high tide when they're roosting. About three miles beyond the Mark Island Light Overlook, the cove on the right side of the road is called West Pond, and it's a good spot to scan for sea ducks. Most of the loons will be common, but red-throated loons are possible. The auto loop splits just before reaching Scudic Point. Airy Cove on the left is a sheltered inlet that is very attractive to wintering waterfowl. Common eiders and loons are present year-round. Greaves, guillemots, buffleheads, and long-tailed ducks are often noteworthy. Scoters get into the cove regularly, particularly black scoters. Across the road from the cove, the Scudic Education and Research Center is hidden in the woods. Scudic Institute's bird ecology program conducts weekly surveys of all the sea ducks found along the auto loop. But perhaps the most important feature is that right behind this entrance sign, there is the only heated year-round bathroom facility in the park. What? Scudic Point is awe-inspiring. It juts out into the North Atlantic, offering an expansive vista and views of birds on the rocks, in the water, and in the air. Eiders and guillemots are routinely present. All three species of scoter frequent the area. Greaves are sighted regularly. Harlequin ducks occasionally splash in the surf zone here. Just above them, foraging among the rocks, purple sandpipers are also sometimes seen. Returning to the auto loop, Blueberry Hill is the next worthy stop. The hill is across the street. It's the bay that attracts birds and birders. Shallow and sheltered, it's a good spot for seabirds to forage along the ocean's edge. Thick-billed murres are among the rarities that have been tallied here, taking advantage of the shallow feeding areas. Scudic Island lies across the channel. It's a major nesting colony for eiders and gulls, and there's a bald eagle nest on the far side of the island. But in the winter, a good scan of the island will likely reveal northern harriers, and perhaps a rough-legged hawk, maybe even a snowy owl. Near the left side of the island, a green buoy is a favorite roosting spot for great cormorants in winter. It's normal to see them flying up and down the channel all day. For the remainder of the auto loop, the road hugs the shoreline along a bay that is sheltered from prevailing breezes. This is a favorite area for wintering waterfowl. Redneck grebes return from Canada as early as mid-August. Horn grebes return soon after. All the scoters are likely, lots of loons, and plenty of guillemots and long-tailed ducks. At the north end of this stretch, the road turns northeast and passes Buck Cove on the way to Wansqueak Harbor. It's an ideal spot to scan for all these birds, adding in red-breasted mergansers and common golden eyes. Watch for purple sandpipers in the splash zone of the rocks, and at lower tides, enjoy the harbor seals that haul out on the ledges offshore. Scudic Peninsula, six miles of non-stop winter birding.